What's up, y'all? This is Dominic with Port Pumper Society. I'm currently pumping down an aerobic septic system. Now, the reason the customer called on this one, we had the panel box over here. This is an alarm, and that alarm will go off if there's high water in the pump tank, which is telling you that whether you have a drip system or it's discharged through sprinkler heads, there's an issue with the pump and it's not pumping the way it should. So what happens is these floats are set to activate whenever the water reaches a certain depth. And if it doesn't kick on, it'll eventually reach another float switch, which kicks on this alarm right here. Now you're gonna hear like a very loud buzzing noise, really annoying, and that is gonna turn red. As soon as that turns red and starts buzzing, giving off that annoying, anno very annoying noise, call your service provider or call a septic company because it is about, shit is literally about to go down. It will start backing up in the house. It'll start overflowing out in your yard, make a huge mess. So thankfully this customer gave us a call and it turns out that the alarm that was going off was actually for the aerator. So the aerator wasn't working properly and it causes a foul odor whenever it's sprayed out through the sprinklers. So definitely want to get that fixed. That way you don't just have raw sewage spraying all over your yard. It's a very unsightly odor. You want to get that taken care of ASAP. So we went ahead and got the aerator swapped out and we're going to go ahead and pump this down. The trash tank was really thick and it was way overdue in my opinion. So we're pumping this down right now and they should be good to go until their service provider lets them know they need to get it pumped out again. And if this is your first time watching, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. That'll let you know when I drop a new video. And you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, at Port Pumper Society, and on TikTok, at Port Pumper Society too. So let's get into it. Might just be one hose. Nah, it's gonna be two.
in an aerobic septic system, you can see they're pretty big. We've got the trash tank. This is the first compartment. That's the clean out. So it goes from the house clean out into the trash tank. And then there's a baffle and it comes over here to the ATU, the aeration treatment unit. Got an air compressor and it pumps air into here and agitates this compartment. And then it passes through chlorine, comes into the last compartment, which is the pump tank. And you've got your pump. That's an effluent pump and it goes out and it discharges or sprays the treated effluent into your yard. So what was happening here was this air compressor went out and it wasn't agitating, creating that aerobic bacteria. And also they're out of chlorine. I'm gonna get that and this cap. It looked like they hit it with a weed eater. So instead of treated, chlorinated water coming over here and out to the sprinkler, it was just straight up sewage pretty much so. Very unpleasant odor. Don't want that going on for too long. That's why these do require a service contract. That way you don't have raw sewage flying out in the air. Very important you get this stuff checked and under control because it can get away from you really quick. Turned off. 